Hi, I'm Nick. I'm going to be showing you today how to add fluid into the hydraulic tensioner. This will be the same whether it's on a 40 or a 50. Um, when you start to get low on fluid in here, you're going to notice that your threads are disappearing here. So you're running out of threads to be able to tighten your blade. So to be able to get your tension up to where it needs to be, we have to add fluid in this hydraulic tensioner here. And it's not just pulling out a plug back here and squirting fluid in there. We have to make room for that fluid to go in. So we'll want to back off the, the tensioner here to where we've got a couple inches of thread showing. And then we're going to collapse our wheel in. We don't want to go in too far. Because our third, we've got two chrome rods here, and a little deeper in there, we've got a third chrome rod. That's your actual tensioner. This is going in and turning and coming out the side. That's the plunger coming out and putting the tension on your blade. So we don't want that all the way collapsed back in the housing. We want enough left out to where we can get a hold of it with a pair of pliers. So when we've got this, you'll have to push your blade off the front of your wheel. You don't necessarily have to remove the blade. You just want it off the front of the wheel so you, you can push this wheel all the way out against the housing here to give you room to get a pair of pliers in there. <clears throat> so when we've got this all the way pushed out there, we've got a plug right behind the gauge here. We want to re remove this plug back here. All right, now as you can see on the end of that plug, there is an O-ring. That's what's keeping your fluid in there. So you want to make sure your O-ring is still on your threads here. You want to get a pair of channel locks or a pair of pliers. Get them in there and get a hold of the, the rod in the back there. And you're going to add automatic transmission fluid or hydraulic oil. We just put it in a squirt bottle. You could come up with your own way, but you want to add it in this hole as you pull out on your plunger back here. So you're making room to put the fluid in there. Because when you first put, pull that plug out, you'll see that it looks full. So we'll have to make room in the, the reservoir here to actually hold the fluid. So we'll want to add fluid, pull out a little bit. And we'll keep repeating that until our cylinder back here is sticking out about an inch and a half, two inches. And when we get that out where we want it, Make sure our hole is full of fluid and reinstall the plug. Now we'll collapse the idle wheel back in, reinstall our blade, and then when we tighten it up, we should gain our, our threads back here so we can get our tension all the way up to where it should be on, on per the sticker here. So that's how you add the fluid into the tensioner on the LT40 and the LT50s. If you have any questions from there, feel free to call us. Thanks.